Like they're tears of old. But we got a wonderful match coming up for you guys right here. It is Hero versus Fox, Odyssey versus Silvio. And yes, that is exactly what I was imagining that was going to be. He gets bounced immediately within the first two seconds of the match. All right, lasers. Already off deck for my man Fox. Pokemon Stadium is the pick, of course. Fire and two in the other direction just to keep his muscle memory probably warm. I mean, at least I'm going to go ahead and imagine that's why he went ahead and did, this, uh, did that in this winner's round three of Xeno 202. Good rapid jab by Odyssey to get him off right there. Already leading by about 40%. While being to get at a disadvantage by the platform is Silvio. And now they're just scrapping, but he's just going to mash to get out of that, dude. You're Fox. What are you going to be doing in that situation, man? You know? A lot of people criticize Fox's design in this game, or his nerfs, I suppose, from the intricate combos he used to have in Smash 4 to the, uh, now much more centered around his neutral air. And he still has intricate combos, but, you know, being able to tech footstools now, it ain't, uh, it ain't the same as, uh, Odyssey, as well often put it. The yeah, Odyssey is one of those guys who definitely misses Smash 4 Fox in that regard, but he's still out here playing him, man. He's got other characters as well. I think he plays, um, I believe he dabbled, you know, Greninja's the one. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking about Wolf. I don't know if he went Wolf at, like, a you know, uh, recognized ones, because he used to come to that, uh, those tournaments for a little while. And he also dabbles with Palu sometimes. Oh, this, his Palu, I remember. Back when, like, around the beginning of the game when he was a lot more active. Pepperidge Farm definitely remembers Odyssey's Palu. Alright, out here in neutral again, whipping the grab. Up in the air is Silvio. How's Fox going to keep him at disadvantage, keeping that onslaught going? I like the side B to try to get him off, uh, to try to get Odyssey off of him right there in the ledge trapping situation. Thinking that he could maybe just catch him sleeping for a minute, you know? It's, uh, it was a smart option to make his way back. Unfortunately for him, it didn't work out. Obviously a little too smart for that at this stage in the game. And the damage is just still tacking on. Even when he tries to get a hit in himself with those laggy, laggy aerials. Odyssey, the timing of a young lad, still able to get those parries. But he's finally going to die to the middle strength side B. Forget the name of the movie. It's not Kafriz, right? Kafriz is the neutral beam. I I don't remember at all. It's some sort of like Miss Frizzle. Like it's called, I think it's called Miss Frizzle. I'm gonna call it Miss Frizzle. Alright. Good rapid jab to get him off. Back air off the ledge. Of course he's gonna get zoom. And uh, he's got that 50% chance of actually getting zoom once he's that far away out of the blast zone. That's a fun little hero tidbit for you. He's not just getting lucky RNG every time that he's off the level there to get zoom to make it on his way back as that up smash takes the stock. Hero just kind of gets it sometimes when he's that far off the level. It's about a 50-50 chance. That was an interesting interaction right there. He actually like bounced off like off some sort of strong hit from the forward air, and therefore he didn't get jab locked because he wasn't on the level. It was really interesting play coming out right there, and a good tech coming out from Silvio, and it's gonna pay off in spades, getting that down air, perfect positioning off of the tech wall situation, and spiking Fox into the abyss, taking advantage of not just that situation, but a quote-unquote exploitable linear recovery. Wow. All right, there's the down air. Back airing him off, trying to mix him with the up smash. Nothing doing. All right. Another falling neutral air to get him off right there. Still stuck at the ledge. He's just doing these falling mares, my friend. How is Silvio going to be able to get around this? And he is not. Buffering a roll right off the ledge right there, thinking that Odyssey was not going to be prepared for it because he was spending all that time just nearing and nearing and nearing right by the ledge to the point where he conditioned Silvio into rolling. And then when he did it, Odyssey was prepared. Got him to go exactly where he wanted him to go. Pretty smart stuff if I do say so myself. Wouldn't you say so, Devin? Wouldn't you say so? Are you trying to pull me into this? Yeah. Good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to be like that. I wanted him to say something, man. But I can commentate by myself. I was in my come up by myself, Devin. The Nexus back in those days. People stopped watching the... People stopped watching the stream matches to come watch me commentate. I was a legend. Now I'm just watched. Anyway, here we go. Game two. Winners three. Xeno 202. Odyssey versus Silvio. And Odyssey is up the game. We are over to town and city, which... I, I understand Silvio wanting to go to the stage, you know. Higher blast zones, he'll live off the top to up smash and up air longer. But, I mean, you know, the stage is final destination half the time, but in the other half of the time, that high platform might just be there by the side. And if Fox catches you off that, he might just be killing you off the top relatively early 
regardless of how high the blast zones on Town and City are. It might not matter as much. What Silvio's gonna have to do is just focus real hard on getting these up Bs out of shield in case Odyssey touches that shield, which he's gonna be doing as that back air does take the stock. Because what does Odyssey want? What does Fox want? He wants to hit you with a Nair, and he wants to hit you with his imagination after that. Oh my god, that was so funny, getting the reflected lasers off the bounce. I mean, obviously it's what's gonna happen, because that is technically a projectile off of the grab, but like, and the down throw as well. But it, at the end of the day, it is just kind of funny. You know, because I've never seen it before. Yeah. But in my opinion from watching this, I think Silvio's got to focus on getting these out of shield options, especially these up out of shields, a little bit more consistent. Because what does Fox want? He wants to hit you with a Nair, and then he wants to hit you with his imagination afterwards. You shield that. If you stay grounded long enough and you shield that, Fox has to work a lot harder to be able to actually get in on you. And, you know, Hero doesn't have as many good out of shield options as some other top tier characters would, really. And by other top tiers, I just mean top tier characters. I'm not saying Hero's top tier because he's not, but like... Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say. Good forward air right there, jumping around the up smash to be able to kill him off the side blast zones. Which are not as big. There you go. Like there's one up he has shield right there. Almost getting punished for it off the platform, actually. I mean, it's just scary when he's at this percent. No up smash coming out from Odyssey there. Really interesting. He went for a back air instead. I don't know if he was trying to mix him or whatever, but like, that didn't look like a missed input either. Yeah, a little too high a percent to be able to roll back from there. Hero is, of course, going to be able to make it back from that. Easy peasy. But calling out the ledge jump is Odyssey. The reaction time of a child, I should say. Nice and quick. Two forward airs. Can we get a third? He went for a third. Smart stuff. Odyssey looking real good right now. Alright, we're falling neutral air. Trying to start a combo. Getting a falling neutral air and neutral of his own. Now, Odyssey has gone on record watching a Pazari man this weekend at uh, this last weekend at Frostbite saying that he really admired how he mixed up his falling nair times. He said like he would just like not always fast fall it and then fast fall it when he didn't expect it to. Sometimes just hold it in. It's just those little neutral tools that are really gonna make the grade, you know? So I'm really anxious to see how Odyssey is gonna be able to really like implement that into his gameplay since he like spoke so highly of Pazari man. But uh, you know, might be a little too late to really analyze that. This game looking like it might be over relatively soon if he doesn't die off the top and he does to the flame slash. Silvio, little life left in him, but almost dying off the side blast zone. Nothing doing, but we're by the ledge against Odyssey, which is not where you want to be. And the up smash is going to do it right there. That's Odyssey advancing further into the winner's bracket over Silvio. Now, if that's not how you commentate a match by yourself,